as we know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. When a woman is diagnosed, obviously the first goal is to save her life. In the case of needing a mastectomy, some women leave it at that, but others sign up for the so-called after-party, breast reconstruction. The Holly Rose Ribbon Foundation helps women get that operation. Joining us with more, please welcome plastic surgeon Dr. Franklin Rose and breast cancer survivor Jacqueline Lemon. <laughs> I'm going to start with the foundation named after your sister-in-law, who I had met several times over the years. And she was battling cancer for a long time. And every time I'd see her, even when I knew she wasn't feeling well, her whole goal was to make sure other people felt better. Well, Deborah, you're correct. Holly, uh, my wife's sister, was the inspiration for our foundation. She unfortunately had stage 4 cancer for some 15 years, passed away about a year and a half ago. Uh, but the initial mis mission of the foundation is really charitable cancer reconstruction. Uh, Jackie happens to be one of our foundation patients. And uh, we've since expanded into University of Houston scholarships for students who have lost one or both parents to cancer. Uh, yeah. And uh, so that's a, a nice expansion for us. When it comes to reconstruction, uh, there are certain things that determine whether a woman has to have the mastectomy to begin with. We know in the case of Angelina Jolie, she had said, look, it is likely that I will get uh, the particular type of cancer. So she went ahead and had her breast removed. Um, for other women, uh, they can't make that choice. It's made for them in a sense. So what happened with you, Jacqueline? So first you find out that you have cancer. And it was a big struggle because one thing is how to pay for treatment. Yes. To don't, uh, when people do not have insurance, it's like, where are we going? Where, where, how we reach out to find, you know, some help? And, and the main thing is to realize that there is a situation there and we have to go and address it right away. And for me, it happens like in six months. I kind of wake up around that time. And four months after that, I have to start to be in the list of uh, charity hospital and see all the doctors and, and around like maybe 11 months. Finally, I have my operation, and then they reconstruct my breast right away. Yeah. Um, so your breast, you, you had to remove them. Yeah, I had um, mastectomy, and, and they um, did the um, uh, have a prosthesis there yeah. right away. And no, all Dr. Was Rose, it, it, tell, explain how that works. So um, it, when they they right. obviously remove the tissue right. in hopes that the cancer doesn't have a chance well, to come back. Well, in Jacqueline's case, she was living in New Orleans, presented to Charity Hospital in New Orleans, had immediate reconstruction post mastectomy. Her implant ruptured uh, and deflated, which is why she presented to our offices. She had heard about our foundation, uh, and so she did have implant uh, problems. She had had a mastectomy. Uh, now beautifully reconstructed. Yeah. We did her about a year, year and a half ago. But got to ask you, so you go through the traumatic experience, and like I said earlier, the first thing you want to do is make sure you can save your life. But you looked in the mirror, and there was that constant reminder, which some women are fine with. It's a battle scar, if you will. But for you, it really impacted your self-esteem. We really do not realize that, but there are some things that we do every day that start to kind of, um, you know, make us realize that it's something wrong and it's, it's, it starts in here but uh, the good thing about the reconstruction if it happened right away I think that is much faster because w nobody wants to uh, you know see in the mirror that this or that happened or not even realize that you know there is part of uh, ourselves that is so important and and is not there so if the fastest uh, we get into the process the better I, I even saw I have after that reconstruction I have um, uh, um, a problem with, uh, I was very sad. I was, yeah. um, in fact, when you went to go see Dr. Rose, you would look in the mirror at yourself and you were like, I, you No, were... after Dr. Rose, everything changes because I was with this prosthesis for 11 years and when it ruptures, I, 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 by miracle, I found him, seriously. Yeah. And, and but, it, but you didn't even want to, you didn't want to take off your top to show him what it was because you, it, you, it, it, it just... It just, the, no, the amazing thing here is that the, it was 10 minutes. I was only 10 minutes in, in his uh, office and the consultation. And he said, it's okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to have it done. Because I, it was nothing there. And I have all um, the, the, 
all those parts in there, and, and we have to get out. We do the right thing again, and, and, and now it's better than ever. Yeah, you, you say oh, there was nothing it's there. Wonderful. I'm looking at you right now and saying there is something there now. Yeah, there is something like, there now. Now it's, it's just well, well put together, and, and I love it because it's just uh, before I have such a big battle, like for 11 months to trying to get surgery, and for something that was so, so, so important, and now it's so important, but in this, in this city where, you know, there are too many plastic surgeries, uh, you have to pay $200 to get a consultation, and, and after that, the amount of money that we have to pay to have all that done, the, the, we you just really didn't have the money. It. The money was, was stopping you from, from for, completing this process. And I, and I got to say, I, was, I, I just have to say it, I was in the green room, and I had to touch, very natural. Um, uh, I, I, you, well, you know, that's a big part of it, because you said before, before it was all hard, it wouldn't move, okay? So, before, yeah, it was, yeah. you know, because it's different, yeah. Dr. Rose, there's a big difference between uh, a doctor who uh, can put implants in and then someone who can reconstruct. So that's one of the things that's important for people to look at as well. Well, Deborah, we, uh, all plastic surgeons try to do a good uh, board certified plastic surgeons, uh, a fair amount of reconstructive surgery and uh, primarily, you know, the reconstructive surgery that we do is through our foundation uh, and other reconstruction uh, post mastectomy cases. But as uh, Jacqueline so uh, aptly mentioned, uh, the self esteem, the body image issues that accompany mastectomy patients, only people like Jacqueline and her ilk know uh, the sadness and uh, the. Not only are you, she's a beautiful girl, and not only are you battling cancer and the diagnosis of cancer, but now your whole body image is distorted. So that's why reconstructive surgery is, uh, you know, the patients appreciate it so much, as does the surgeon. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have Misha Laird in the audience with us today with the Houstonian Club, because obviously this is one of those things, because you give the service for free to those women who need it, uh, but it's not free to do. There are hospital costs, insurance, all that type of stuff. So there are all kinds of ways to help raise money to help folks uh, like you as well. And so, uh, Misha, hi there. Hi there. Tell us about what's going on to bring awareness. The Houstonian is honored to host an event on October 13th. It's called Stretch for a Cause, and it will benefit the Holly Rose Ribbon Foundation. It's an afternoon of yoga activity for the whole family, and we'll have vendors there, including um, Elizabeth Irvin, who has designed the Serenity Beads with um, Lily Paxson, the executive director of the foundation, is wearing this morning. Oh. So we're hoping that folks will come and join us and celebrate and bring awareness to the foundation's work. And and uh, registration is preferred, but drop-ins are always welcome. Yeah, and you, you mentioned jewelry, which is the icing on the cake right over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So the Serenity Beads here. Tell us about the Serenity Beads. Serenity Beads are um, Beth's way, Elizabeth Urban's way, of beating cancer. She uh. has a yoga background, and it has morphed into this beautiful jewelry collection. And they're wonderful to wear, and they um, tie back to the yoga tradition. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Rose. Thank you thank for you, uh, the charity. Thank you for sharing your story. You, I know you are actually leaving the show today because you're off to Madrid with your boyfriend. Is wonderful. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, for more information on the Yoga Festival and the Holly Rose Ribbon Foundation, you can log on to GreatDayHouston.com. Also, don't forget to log on to Facebook to let us know what you think of the trend where couples are going Dutch on the engagement ring. Traditionally, the bride and her family pay for the wedding, so shouldn't he get the ring? Or maybe couples should consider going Dutch on all the wedding related expenses. 50 50. We'll share some of your comments a little later in the show. Now, if your boyfriend becomes a fiance, do you, where are you going to go Dutch on the ring, or does he need to get the ring? Uh, think about it, but. If it's a very expensive ring, I don't think I'll give it back. Okay, there you go. All right. When we come back, Great Day correspondent Courtney Perna blows into Houston's latest beauty business to get a new do. We'll tell you what makes it unique next.